So in this lesson, we're going to be talking about modulating accent tap, where we're changing the space between the accent and the tap. Uh, I'm working with some different groupings there. So we're starting with this kind of swing feel idea with this first and third partial of the triplet. And what we want to do is look at this without the accents first and make sure we're clear on what that rhythm is. One, a lit, two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one. Once we add those accents, we need to make sure we still understand where that downbeat tap is landing. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. That way we have a nice anchor for those third partial accents. Should be clear that that space is all the same. So in this next section, we're gonna add in some more taps and keep that third partial accent idea going. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. And then off the left. So notice we're gonna have two accents on the same hand there. In the first section, we were switching off the tap. In this section, we're staying on the same hand for the accent. Like a little transition section where we're going to go from triplets to eighth notes. Triplet, 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 modulating to eighth notes here. Three and two and three and four and one. So that second half is going to feel a little quicker in the hands because our subdivision is changing. If we take out the left hand on that first bar, we put on triplets, and then we're moving to eighth notes. So it's going to be a little bit quicker in the hands. Make sure we're ready for that speed change on the taps. We're gonna fill in a couple counts of sixteenths. All right, so we'll use those eighth notes to lead into that. And then we're gonna open up again to triplets and bring back that first idea. One, two, three. Triplet, triplet, triplet. And now we're gonna keep that idea of tap, accent, tap, accent, but now we're doing straight eighth notes. So you have a little difference there. So counts three and four, we had triplet, triplet, one, and then we have eighth notes. And then we're gonna do three, lit, four, lit, one, back to that third partial accent feel. So those two bars, there we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, three, lit, four, lit, one. So if we back up and we look at the second two systems, we have this. All right, then we're gonna move into a little shaping. We're gonna drop to piano. Little three count phrase there. One, two, and a three, and four. And then we have four count studly accent pattern, 16th note hand speed, four e and a, one e and a, two e and a, three. And we're gonna modulate to triplets there. Three, four, one. It sounds like it's slowing down, but all we're doing is going from a 16th bass to a triplet bass, right? Four e and a, one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a, one. In this last system, we're gonna open back up into quarter note triplets. All right, so if we look at that rhythm without the accents, we have triplet, three and four, and triplet, triplet, trip. And when we throw in those accents and taps, we get a little bit of a different feel. Triplet, three and four, and triplet. Freeze down to that last shot and do the grace of the plan, right? Mm. Yeah. So those last two systems, we have this. There's a lot of feel shifts in here and it's gonna be a lot easier to execute if we have a good understanding of that uh, accent tap technique. Which if that's something you wanna work on, check out that lesson on this in this collection too in there. Uh, but yeah, here's the whole thing. Let's play the whole thing.
there you have it. There's some modulating accent tap. Try out these ideas. Hope they help out in life. <laughs> in your practice life. Uh, yeah. And check out some other vids on the channel. Make sure to subscribe. And I will catch you next time. See ya.